It's time, time, time for Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Helping to get your day started right. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Friday, April 22nd, 2016. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with somebody, to tell someone about what Jesus has done for you, and and go and encourage somebody in their walk. And while you're at it today, give God praise, because He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Psalm, chapter 40, verses 10 and 11. Scripture says, I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. Withhold not thou thy tender mercies from me, O Lord. Let thy loving kindness and thy truth continually preserve me. Friends, we spent a few days here talking about waiting on God and the benefits of that. And um, in this particular verses here that, that David writes here in Psalm 40, he's he's... He's telling an important principle that we need to do. You know, I remember several years ago, um, there was a series of of CDs that had came out, music CDs, that was called Silent Witness, and then it would be some kind of country star or rock and roll star, whatever, singing the gospel songs. Friends, God doesn't need a silent witness out there. (laughs) You know, I think too many of us are, are living like we're silent witnesses. David says here in verse number 10, I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart, or within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. If you remember earlier in the chapter, he was talking about waiting on God and how God brought him up out of this horrible pit, how he brought him up out of this this shame, out of this, this sin. And he set his feet upon a rock, he established his going, he gave him a firm foundation. And David proclaimed those things. He proclaimed the goodness of God. He proclaimed and told others about the way that God has worked in his life. That's why I challenge you each and every day when I do these broadcasts to go out and to share your faith and to encourage somebody. You know what God has done in your life. You know what he's brought you through. And you don't need to keep it to yourself. You don't need to be a silent witness. You need to be going out and doing like David did and proclaiming these things and declaring these things to the great congregation or to others. Because somebody might be going through something that you struggled with that God brought you out of and you'll be able to encourage them that God will do the same for them. I firmly believe that all the trials, all the experiences that we go through in life is done with a purpose so that we can help others get through those same trials and circumstances. Because if God worked in our life, he's going to work in someone else's as well. He says here in verse 11, Withhold not thou thy tender mercies from me, O Lord. Let thy loving kindness and thy truth continually preserve me. David's saying, God, I, I have not hid your righteousness. He said, I've declared your faithfulness. I have not concealed your loving kindness and your truth. Now, because I have not done those things, God, he's saying, withhold not. Withhold not thy tender mercies from me. Withhold not mercy from me, God, he's saying. He's saying, let your loving kindness and let your truth continually preserve me. Friends, are you are you hiding your faith? Are you trying to light that candle and then stick it under a bushel that Jesus was talking about there in Matthew chapter 5 or chapter 4? Friends, let that light shine. Tell others what Jesus has done for you. Tell others the way that God has worked in your life. And proclaim his love and his salvation to people that need it. Think about that as you go through this day and remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you and then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day.